Welcome to our very first class virtually in our nice digital classroom. First thing that we are going to create is we are going to be making a face collage with random materials that you can find around your house. So the first thing that I suggest you do is grab something that you could put some random materials in. So what I went ahead and did is I found an old box and I'm just gathering things like newspaper articles and some bubble wrap and some construction paper and other things like cotton balls and pieces of yarn or anything that you can find around your house that's kind of like trash, but you don't wanna get anything that's too messy like tr real trash. But any kind of paper products or anything like that, we can save in here. <clears throat> We're going to be needing some other materials we're going to maybe need a piece of paper or something to put it on. If you do not have a piece of paper, then you can use lined paper, you could use a paper bag, you could use a, the back of an envelope, you could use pretty much anything that's flat that you could go ahead and set things on that we are either going to glue or not glue down to our piece of paper. If you do not have glue, then you can just set your materials on when we're creating our picture and we're creating our collage and you can take a photograph of that or you can actually glue it down. I went ahead and I made my own first face collage. I'm going to make one with you quickly whenever I do the demonstration here next, but we're going to be creating a face collage with random materials again and then we're going to draw parts of it in and fill the rest in with the other materials and remember we're making a mixed media project today so that means we're combining more than one thing so we're drawing part of it coloring part of it cutting pieces of paper and gluing it back together which makes it a collage and that also makes it a mixed media all right let's get started <laughs> So now we're ready to get started on drawing the base for our face collage. So the first thing that you want to do is find a piece of paper and you can find, like I said, it can be a white piece of paper from a computer, a computer printer paper. You could use lined paper. You could use the back of an envelope. You could use anything that you want, um, but preferably I would like you to use white paper if you have it. You could use a marker or anything that you can draw with. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to make a big U in the middle of our paper. So I want everybody to draw a big U. So it's a big under motion. We're going to give two lines at the bottom for the neck. And then all I want us to do at the top is we're just going to kind of draw the beginning part of where the hair may stop because we want to use the rest of our stuff to make the fun parts to our hair and to the rest of our face. So then with the random materials that you found, we're going to use, I'm going to take a piece of, actually from an Amazon box, so you could use the back of that. There's a nice texture on the back that you can feel. So you could use that side of it, or you could use that side, but you're gonna use any kind of random materials that you can find, and we're gonna start building our face. So one of the things that we need that we're missing are our two eyes. So you could use any kind of materials and you're going to cut a shape for your first eye. And we can just set it aside. I'm gonna use one of these fun pieces of paper I found. And I'm just going to cut it. And I'm gonna make sure that I save all of my scraps because we may use these for other projects so remember in the beginning, I said to find a box or something you could put all of your random materials in. This would be a time that you could save all of these nice scraps that you just cut and we can set them aside and we can maybe reuse them. So right now what I've done is I've went ahead and I cut out a circle that I could use as part of an eye and I cut out another circle that I could use for another eye or I could put it inside of this to make it that part of an eye. But we're just setting things up for right now. So I've got my two eyes cut 
and then I want to make a nose. Now with the nose, you need something that is long that we could maybe start with the bridge of your nose that goes straight down in between your eyes and it's gonna curve to the side or you could draw it in if you don't have any materials that you wanna use for that, then you could do that. What I'm going to do is I am going to just actually lay a piece of yarn and I'm gonna use part of the yarn as my nose for my face collage. And right now I'm just gonna set it down. And then I'm going to set my first piece of my eye. I've decided I'm gonna use this circular shape to put it inside. And let's see what else I can use for my eye. I could get another piece of paper. I found some really fun decorative pieces of paper that I had laying around the house. So you could use, again, you could use anything. You could cut up a bag. You could cut up a piece of a box. You could cut up a piece of a magazine. You could cut up anything that you want in a circle. And right now, I'm gonna take one of these. I found these really cool little palms that I had in the bottom of my work bag. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set that down, because I'm gonna use that. And then I'm missing my mouth. So I need to find something to use for my mouth. So let's see, I'll use another one of these fun pieces of paper. And you can make any kind of mouth that you want. You could cut out the lips, you could draw your lips, you could draw your mouth open, you could make it a big smile. If you wanted to take a piece of yarn or a piece of string that you find, you could make it shapes shape it into the form of the mouth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to add that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add a dot in the middle of my eye just to make this a crazy looking face. Cause right now he, she is looking pretty crazy. <clears throat> and again, then you're gonna find other more materials and you're, you can add it to your face. We could, you could add hair if you wanted to add hair. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add some really crazy looking hair here. <clears throat> and then at the bottom, if you would like to leave it that way, you could leave it like that, or you could go ahead and you could cut out a piece that might be in the shape of a shirt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut a piece that I'm gonna use for part of my shirt. and then you could glue that down there. And then if you wanted to get extra fancy, you could take more scraps and you could cut out other, ac other accents and other extra details to your face collage. You could add a bow tie, if you wanted to add a bow tie. You could move the bow and you could add it into their hair. So you, there are lots of different things that you could add and now I want you to go ahead and you can add all of your pieces together. And if you do not have glue, if you don't have any glue, then you can go ahead and you can lay everything down just like I did and you can take a picture of it and when you go to upload your assignment into your project section that I'm gonna explain to you later, you can either take a picture of it laying on there like this or if you wanna go ahead, you can glue everything down onto your piece of paper and glue it that way. All right, I will post the directions on how to upload your very first assignment. Good job.